the secret agent who became president. 18 years since he first came to power and still Vladimir Putin remains shrouded in mystery. His private life kept under wraps while his official biography is the only glimpse into his past. When he was named Prime Minister in 1999, he asked a few journalists to write his official biography. And ever since, any research into Putin's path to power has been completely forbidden. As the official story goes, Putin was born in Leningrad in 1952. After his parents lost two of their sons, he was the miracle child. The family lived in communal housing, with Vladimir growing up very much in the shadow of the Second World War. It was a simple upbringing, a communist upbringing. His father was a party member, while his grandfather used to be Stalin's chef. So young Vladimir grew up in an environment that fostered faith in the Soviet model. Following his dreams of becoming a spy, Putin joined the KGB after law school. In 1985, he was sent to East Germany to work inside the University of Dresden. From there, he saw the Berlin Wall come crumbling down and with it, the Soviet Union itself. A national humiliation Putin would later describe as a catastrophe. When I say that the fall of the USSR was one of the greatest catastrophes of the 20th century, I'm talking about a humanitarian catastrophe above all. After the dissolution of the USSR, 25 million Russians suddenly found themselves in a foreign country. It was genuinely a humanitarian catastrophe. Putin stepped up from his role as director of Russia's secret services to become prime minister in 1999 and then president a year later, succeeding to Boris Yeltsin. The oligarchs saw him as a new puppet, but Putin proved to be a strongman, physically fit, regularly flaunting his brawn in public, but also authoritarian, sidelining opponents and seizing control of the media. He soon imposes a distinctly vertical hierarchy with himself as a strong and undisputed leader of a state which he's seeking to bolster. He develops a glamorous cult of personality around himself to give Russians the impression that after years of struggle, they finally have a real leader who's in charge. Over time, Vladimir Putin adopted a growingly nationalist stance positioning himself against the West, both in foreign affairs and on social issues. As an alternative to what he sees as Western decadence, the president offers the image of a strong Russia, a disciplined Russia, appearing as a guide not just for his own people, but for anyone around the world who believes in conservative values.